I've seen it happen too many times. Brothers took care of fucking families 15, 20, 25 years. Then mama want to divorce all of a sudden because I think we've ran our course. This is another KS, just letting brothers know that you are solid. Especially when you're average and you are below average and get off my, no, just no, no, no. Take a break because I'm going to calm down. Nope, absolutely not. Sorry about that. I grew up in the, I grew up in the Bible Belt in Oklahoma. I, I grew up with people who worked hard for a living. $8 an hour, $10 an hour, $12 an hour. And in the middle heartland of America, there are people who in the South in particular, people are not rich here. $70, $80 an hour. We're talking $20 an hour, $25 an hour. That's forty dollars to $50,000. And I have a real problem sitting here in, in my Tom Ford suits and candles and all other kind of stuff. I have a real, real problem real problem when I hear women laughing poking fun at the men who built this fucking country you're laughing at my uncle my grandfather the men who serve our country the men who dig the ditches and build the roads and fix your plumbing and everything I, I don't take that this is <clears throat> We have gotten so far in the black community from what made us a community. We have no respect for our middle class. And out of respect for my platform, I'm not going to put your photo, man, but you are average at best. Got it! Hotter than fish grease! I was watching that live when he had to go take a break. When I say it wasn't for show, when it wasn't for YouTube likes, Kevin has never, ever shitted on the blue collar brother. The average day to day brother, he knows what makes this country hum. Well, he knew, RIP. Never shitted on the average day to day brother. I don't give a fuck how big I get. I told y'all, I used to work on bank trucks. I'm in the military now. I work, I'm in the Army Reserve now, so I know what it is to put on a uniform and do things I was active duty for a while. I know what it is to sit in the office and be the, the white collar worker. I'm a paralegal by trade. I've done blue collar, white collar. I'm trying to slowly skill myself up to that high value, but I am middle class, like the majority of black men. So brothers, I always want to pour into you some type of positivity, again, in house of Kofa, I want you to find your positive fuck it she left fuck it my grown ass kids that I raised the step kids that I raised ain't talking to me right now fuck it your ass got up this morning didn't you you still breathing ain't you you still have that job fuck it you got another opportunity you got another bite at the apple as they say you got another chance to keep on growing. Skilling and scaling up. All of us in here, I'm sure, have different professions, different types of walk of life, different backgrounds, but so much of it is the same. You matter. You're not crazy. Your lived experience matters. You know how to move. Please stop simping. For the young guys, Start sharing this with them. It's not just brothers in, at this age group. My job for the younger guys that may be viewing my content, my job is to get you smarter, quicker, period. That's it. Whatever your walk of life, I want you to be smarter, quicker, make better decisions faster than we made them. The reason why we can tell you these stories, because we survived. But guess what? There's another brother over here that did the same shit we did, and he ain't make it. That's why you're hearing from us in this age group. You're hearing from us because we're the ones that let our nuts drop, said fuck it, and started sharing this information. Embarrassment be damned. 
Coach Greg just finished talking about it. Let it go. I'm not embarrassed to talk about that I lost a family. I'm not embarrassed to talk about I had a divorce. I'm not embarrassed to talk about that I was a simp. I said it before, said it at the beginning of the broadcast, for we all have simp and fallen short of the glory of God. Again, the glory of God, whoever your higher power is, you have a life. You have a opportunity to do something. You've been given these skills. Use them. Don't simp and fall short. So focus on this woman that when you look up as a grown ass old man, you ain't got shit. I've seen it happen too many times. Brothers took care of fucking families 15, 20, 25 years. Then mama want to divorce all of a sudden because I think we've ran our course. What, what's the twin name Tia Mowry? Oh, we, you can graduate from a marriage. The fuck kind of shit is that? And then as soon as they ass can't find a man, shout out to Lala, at least she was honest. The only men approaching me now, I'm 40, 41. The only men approaching me now is younger guys. You talking about the younger guys that are broke, dusty, and all that and just want some pussy. Because that's what you told the men in your age group back then. Then your ass got married. Then your ass went back out in the goddamn streets. And now you can't find nobody. But we hear this shit from women all the time. I just throw celebrities out there because I know we all got the same socials and we see the stories. Scale it down. Start looking at your fucking female cousins, bro. Look at your sister, dog. I know you love them. Look at the women in your family. How are they moving? You know that dude that she brought to the barbecue was cool as fuck. Next family function. Hey, where Tony? Fuck Tony. Damn, what my boy do? I like Tony. He was cool as hell. I mean, he ain't do nothing. I just... I don't know. They think the grass is greener on the other side because it is. You know why it's greener? It's fucking AstroTurf. It's fake. They have convinced themselves they ass can go over here and get something better. And then when they take the L, they find the nearest black man to blame or the idea of white supremacy. I'm going to slide over here to these comments. I got one last video to pour into y'all and make this shit stick.